Welcome to All the Mods Volcano Block. Uh, we're going to be doing a single player playthrough. I haven't played Modern Minecraft in quite a while, so I am a little rusty. Um, so I, I'm really excited to get started with this. Um, I'm going to leave pretty much everything on defaults. I'm going to turn allow cheats on because I know there are some command things you have to do, and I don't know if that requires uh, cheats to be on or not. But uh, let's get started. I uh, I am excited. I I did actually do a little bit of this. I played through a little bit and then realized I had some technical issues. So I'm restarting. I didn't get too far, but I'm excited to uh, get started. So I will see you guys when we load in. All right, we just loaded in. Uh, let's look around a little bit. I did actually uh, see this already. Uh, really cool structures. I have not seen that yet. Um, but, uh, this is just kind of like the starting island. Um, this is mainly if you, for, uh, servers is what I think it, it was, um, where you kind of hop in here and it's like, welcome to the, all the blocks, volcano block. And it tells you to just run this command. Um, so I'm going to run that command, uh, and create a new team and I'm just going to call it, uh, Cyprian and let's go uh, so I'm gonna chop down this tree that's how you should start any Minecraft world really um, and there we go um, and there is vein miner thankfully so I I chopped that all down uh, fairly quick uh, let's just get these starter quests out of the way um, there's just saying hi welcome and then we can go here this is just telling you to do the skyblock command. Uh, we're going to grab that. Ooh, I got some steak. I got seven steak. Nice. Uh, and we're going to go to the next quest. So that wants us to uh, chop down the tree so and get some oak logs. And uh, turn some of those oak logs into oak planks. So let's do that. Let's just do uh, eight for now. Uh, let's do a little more. I, I feel like we're going to need more. Um, and then we're going to go up here, regrowing the world, dropping down the tree. Uh, you need to replant it basically. So I'm going to, I'm going to do that. Replant it. All right. Um, for actually, let me, let me claim these real quick. Um, and then claim that. And then also, this is really cool. Um, instead of having to like bone meal or wait for it to grow, uh, get those regs ready because you can spam crouch to magically grow the sapling for more wood um, And then there's also uh, The emergency items up here if you kind of uh, if you lose the sapling somehow or it the, the tree didn't drop it You can claim uh, an emergency sapling um, So let me let me just do that a couple more times. Uh, let's drop down the tree again um, and then the next thing we're gonna have to do is uh, make a crook um, to kind of to chop everything down again, but this time, ooh, this time we're gonna make the cr crook first. It's a uh, wooden crook. We're gonna chop all the leaves. That's gonna give us um, these red currants, black currants, white currants, a little bit of food, uh, and some silkworms. And it gave us way more saplings this time. Um, so that is very cool let's put the crook there let's do that uh to kind of clear our hot bar a little bit uh chop down the tree again uh, i should have my saplings in my hot bar all right um and then ooh. um oh we need string okay so we need to grow it one more time all right, nice big tree. And then we are gonna toss down some uh, silkworm. Um, ooh, I wanted to, hold on, let me, let me climb up here and get it this way. There we go. Uh, and these spread really fast in this mod pack, I noticed. Um, like they really spread quick, where I feel like usually in other mod packs, they, they took a little bit more time, but uh, this really, really takes over the tree. Um, but while we're waiting for it, let's look at the other quests. So we need to make a barrel. Okay. Um, so that is any barrel. So let's look that up. Let's make an oak one. 
Uh, we are missing some planks, so let's make some of those. Um, and then, ooh. And then we are one log short, so I need to make a, one more of those. Make a barrel, toss that down, and let's fill it up with some saplings for some dirt. Um, and now it looks like these have all infested, so that gives us a bunch of string. Look at all that string. And a lot more silkworms as well. Uh, so then we can uh, chop this down. And I'm going to leave it uh, chopped down for a minute. Uh, and you'll see why in just a second. Um, but we can claim this crook one and this barrel one because we filled it, made some dirt. And the next one is getting water or stone shakedown. So uh, let's start with the making water one because that is going to be important and it takes a little bit more time. So what we need to do is we need to make a wooden crucible. Uh, all right, now this is a crucible. Uh, that's this one, and that is pretty easy to make. Um, and we can just toss that down right here, and we fill it with uh, saplings. And what it does is it kind of drains the the it drains the water out of the, the saplings. Um, and it creates some water um, in exchange for your saplings. All right, so while that's going, um, we're going to claim that, and then we're gonna to go to Stone Shakedown. Um, so this is a really cool thing. Uh, instead of having to uh, like give you, oh, that's cool, that's a cool crane. I like the trussing, oh, the claw, look at that claw. I haven't seen one of those yet. Yeah, they, there wasn't one uh, on my last world with uh, the technical difficulties. Anyway, uh, instead of having to give you materials for like a cobble generator, uh, you, you crouch and you spam right click. Oh, hold on. And you make sure you have a clear inventory. <laughs> but you spam right click, a bunch of stones come out. Uh, and these are like all the different types of stone in uh, Minecraft. Like there's diorite, blackstone, salt, granite, uh, stone stone, which is like cobblestone, right? Like smooth stone uh, and andesite um, and you get a bunch of these little pebbles um, and if you t combine four of them you get like the full uh, block um, so I shouldn't have done that because I needed 32 of the pebbles uh, for the quest and uh, now I don't have that because I combined them right before that uh, but they don't take too long to get so it's okay um, and now we can turn that in. Uh, we get a little bit more cobblestone from that and some XP. And then it's hammer time. So we need to make a hammer. Um, I'm going to make some, a stone hammer because why, why not? Um, and then we need it to uh, make gravel, sand, and dust with that hammer. And basically to do, to make, um, ooh, there we go. Okay. Uh, to make gravel and dust, um, we only need four. There we go. Uh, you place down this stone and then you mine it with the hammer and it crushes it into gravel. Uh, and then you do the same thing to gravel to make sand and the same thing to sand to make dust. And it's really cool. Um, and then we can turn that quest in and it gives you, um, a gravel block, sand block and dust block for that. And all that is, is uh, like compressed gravel uh, and compressed sand. There is no uh, compressed dust actually. I think I misspoke there. So it just gives you nine dust in exchange um, for there being no compact dust. Um, all right. And I don't know if there's a good reason for that. Uh, I feel like it used to exist in different mods, but I guess it doesn't now, or maybe I'm misremembering, who knows. Um, and then next we can make an oak seed. Oh, you know what? Let me replant this tree before I accidentally use the sapling for something. Um, okay. Uh, and then let's make an oak sieve. Um, and where is that? It is there. Ooh, looks like we need some more log or some more planks. Um, and then we can make a sieve and then Oh, what's it called? Is it a net? Is that the other thing? No, mesh. It's a mesh. Uh, and we need a string mesh. So we make one of those. Um, and then we 
plop down the sieve, uh, throw the mesh in there, that's just a, a little right click. And then what you can do is you can um, just right click, hold right click on it while holding some gravel or some sand or some uh, dirt. And that will give you um, stuff like flint from gravel. Um, these string meshes are pretty bad. You don't get too much out of them. Um, but now that we have it, we can get that. Got some dust from it. That's very cool. Um, and then uh, we kind of unlock a branching tree. Um, we have spores and more, uh, which you get from sifting dirt. Uh, sieve it all out, which is uh, you want to get a bunch of flint to make a flint mesh. This is probably the one you want to go for. The flint mesh is way better than um, the string mesh than we have now. And then the other one is uh, getting grass seeds, which is also sifting dirt. Um, so I would probably recommend going uh, this one first. The cool thing about these uh, compressed blocks, the cobblestone blocks, is you can compress it before you hammer it and then it hammers the whole block instead of having to hammer nine individual blocks it saves durability and time which is arguably more important um, and you know even if you do have to place down a whole bunch you can always vein miner it what you can't do is you can't uh, sift these compressed blocks uh, you do have to convert them into the the raw form in order to sift them um, but you know it's that's fine it all works out it just takes a, a little bit longer I feel like I've been getting very unlucky with this I only have three flint oh geez I need so much more all right well I guess it's time to just sit here and do this for a little bit so I uh, I will uh, be right back all right I got a little bit more than the six flint we need um, but we have that part of it now I just need to create a flint mesh um, so uh, to get this mesh out, you need to finish sifting whatever's in there. And then if you uh, crouch and right click on it, you get the, the string mesh out. Uh, and then to upgrade it, you can put it in the middle and then almost like a ladder with flint on either side. Um, and then you toss this in there and then it sifts. Um, you get a little bit more for what you're getting. It kind of just unlocks a whole bunch more items. It doesn't really decrease your chance of getting flint, but you get a bunch of other stuff along with it. Um, and because you're getting a whole bunch of other stuff, it uh, might be beneficial to um, get some storage. Uh, I'm starting off with just a couple of chests um, because they're cheap and very easy. But um, I also really love um, storage drawers or uh, functional storage. I think it's called in this pack. Uh, very, very handy. Um, and a cool thing about these uh, sieves, uh, oh, I shouldn't, uh, I think I need more wood. Uh, I'll grab that just in case, but um, really cool thing about them is you can uh, actually, ooh, this was a cool, big tree. Oh no, I broke my croak. They suck. Uh, by the way, I have no idea how to repair these broken tools. Um, it became kind of an issue uh, where I was just throwing away a bunch of useful stuff uh, because I didn't know how to repair it. If you know how, leave a comment below uh, and just let me know. Hopefully I can stop throwing stuff away. The cool thing about these sieves is you can actually stack them. I keep spelling it wrong. Um, you can kind of stack them in a, a cool way where if you place uh, two next to each other, Ooh, I should get the flint and upgrade this one as well, actually. Um, they actually kind of work together. Uh, so you can you see I only right clicked on this one, but it filled both of them. And as I hold right click on, on the left one, it sifts through uh, both stacks. Um, and it gives me stuff for both items, uh, which is really cool. Um, sifting dust with a flint. Uh, mesh doesn't do too much there isn't uh, a whole bunch uh, you can get from dust um, with the flint one but um, I'm just kind of working through what I have to um, just to work through it you know 
um, and see what you, you actually can get. Because uh, you see, I just got a cactus, some bone meal, sugar cane, and even salt, which is cool. Um, so yeah, just sometimes it's fun to just see what you can get. And let's look at uh, what else there is to do. So let's look back up here. Oh, let's claim this quest. Don't want to forget about that. Um, and then let's move down. Um, after upgrading our seed to a flint mesh, we're able to get a lot of metal resources by sifting gravel. Might be a good idea to start looking into a better storage solution. So uh, this is a little bit, touching on a little bit what I was talking about earlier with storage. Um, there's a great, or a couple great storage ones, which is basic storage, which is the functional storage I was talking about. And then more later game, there's Applied Energistics, which is just a whole mess and uh, a blast for me personally, but also very complicated. So what I'll do is I will um, set up some uh, functional storage. Um, it's really useful for stuff like cobblestone, dirt, etc. Um, I personally love it for things like um, the everything you sift can just go straight into your storage drawers um, automatically and it, it's great. I'm going to go set up a, a couple of these um, and I'll be right back. Alright, I set up a couple drawers. Uh, they're right here. Um, there are a couple different types. I only set up uh, two types right here. The 2x2 two two drawers which um, hold uh, a good amount of each uh, and then the 1x1 one one drawers which is just one drawer that holds um, kind of like an entire chest worth of one item. Um, so it holds, I think it's around like 2K, like cobblestone, for example, is a great one to put in there. Um, I like using these for um, like these basic uh, pebbles. They're, it holds them great. I, I chopped down a whole bunch of trees, as you can see by the saplings uh, and by the sticks. Um, they each of these drawers takes a chest uh, and these drawers take uh, four chests but you get four out of it so it it was um, just kind of each one of these blocks equates to one chest uh, which is a fair amount of wood you know uh, it could be uh, more expensive but it, it works out fairly easily for uh, an early game uh, storage you know um, but that actually gets us uh, another quest, and that gives us a drawer, uh, some XP, uh, and then it unlocks these next quests. These ones are uh, let you like have more storage capacity, so you can see it says X8 storage upgrade. So this one lets you hold uh, eight times what a normal chest holds. I don't know if it's actually what a full chest holds but i'm um, just it, it, you get what i mean it holds eight times more than a plain drawer um and then the linking tool is once you get into a uh, kind of later game with the the storage controller you can have like a, a huge array of these uh chests uh or sorry with these drawers and one controller connected to all of them so if you pipe something like an item into that drawer controller it'll automatically sort it into these drawers into whatever um, is already, like if there's already these basalt pebbles and you pe pipe in a basalt pebble, it'll automatically go to this drawer. And I'm gonna plop this down right there, put the black stone in there. Um, all right, um, and then let's go back. Oh, and there's of course this quest, which is the intro to the all modium. I'm actually gonna leave it unclaimed for now because it gives you this book and I don't, I don't need it yet. Um, it's just going to take up inventory space. Um, and we're going to work towards this one, though. We've struck metal. So I'm going to get just a whole bunch cobble and uh, start working on that one because we're going to have to grind down a whole bunch of uh, gravel. All right, so I just got a little notification. I uh, completed this part of it, which is the iron pieces. Uh, so, and then I need to get four of these, basically. Uh, four of these iron pieces uh, in order to make one uh, iron ore and I need six iron ore uh, to make oh hold on let me see it, it's somewhere 
It's it's to make the uh, iron mesh is the the next part of the quest. So you see, I need six iron and uh, the flint mesh. So I have um quite a bit to go. I have uh, I think I need twelve times more uh, iron than I have right now. So uh yeah, back to back to sifting. All right. Uh, I just smelted up the iron that we had, uh, and that is going to complete this. We've struck metal quest. Uh, it's going to give us a little bit of XP and some useful blocks, which is uh, gravel sand. Ooh, some dirt. That's actually very helpful. Uh, how much dirt did it give us? Uh, we already had two, so it did give us seven dirt, which is pretty big. Um, that's pretty awesome. Uh, I did fill this back up a little bit. So it has uh, four saplings, makes about one bucket of water. So I put uh, another four in uh, and it's making some some more water and it's slowly, you see the, the sapling is slowly going down and more water is uh, coming out. We can go back over here, look at these uh, quests. Um, ooh, uh, and lava is bad for your health. This is just make a fireproof boat, uh, which is cool for like exploring and stuff, but uh, we don't, really need to do that right now uh, so we're gonna look at this one and uh, this is the real upgrade this is what I was talking about we need six iron for this so we are um, we have two so we're a third of the way there um, but we have a, a long way to go so uh, that's gonna mean me uh, just sitting around doing a whole lot more of this all right I have just about finished the gravel Let's see how much iron I have. Uh, 24. That is just enough. That is going to get us uh, exactly one uh, iron mesh. Uh, and once we get that, it should, uh, I believe it'll up our odds of getting uh, iron ore. If not, uh, it won't lower them. Um, and we did get a bunch of flint too. So we uh, might actually want to expand uh, these uh, oak sieves. Um, so what I'm going to do is um, grab some saplings and grow some trees uh, while these uh, iron are smelting um, and that's going to allow us to make uh, a couple more sieves and though uh, and these sieves sieves sieve, whatever uh, you can expand them up to a five by five um, and have them still connect to each other. Um, so I'm going to, I think I'm just going to do a three by three. I think nine is enough uh, for what uh, I'm doing right now, but eventually I might have to uh, expand it a bit more. Another thing I love about these drawers, if you double right click on, um, on a resource, it puts all of the resource that you have in your inventory uh, into there. So it cleared up my inventory really well. Um, I'm gonna put these uh, back into the chest because I don't need them. And I have just 11 stone pebble left over. This is how many um, of the other pebbles I have. Uh, and uh, that just means I had to get a whole lot of stone because you get like a fraction of these um, compared to how much of the regular stone pebbles you get. All right, so we got a bit more stone, but it, uh, I actually realized while I was getting them that we skipped over a quest, uh, the moving liquids quest, which is uh, to get clay, glass bottle, and ceramic bucket. Uh, now, to make clay, uh, what you ha have to do is hammer down a bunch of cobble uh, and you have to do this to make the the sand as well for the the glass bottle um, you have to hammer down a bunch of gravel uh, or a bunch of cobble into gravel then a bunch of gravel into sand uh, and then I will leave um, I will only hammer one more sand down uh, and this is going to give me uh, nine dust and what this dust does is it will let me, uh, ooh, hold on, uh, 
dust if you put it in a, a barrel filled with um, why did that not shift click in one of these barrels that's filled with water uh, and we're gonna fill it by uh, making some glass bottles um, what it lets you do is it creates clay and that clay you can uh, turn into a ceramic bucket um, which technically we don't need we could make a regular bucket but I'd rather save my iron for upgrading these uh, sieves so uh, I'll actually upgrade one of these while we're waiting for that to all smelt uh, and that's gonna be our first iron mesh so it's gonna be just that one um, and what I'm gonna do actually is um, I'm gonna break all of these and only place one back down with the iron mesh uh, and that's gonna be what we're gonna use for uh, until we can get some more and I'll place these down but I won't put the mesh in so this should be the only one that uh, is still working uh, and I have a little bit more iron I got it from uh, one of the random quests we did um, wait why do I have oh I do have this one we just finished this one of course we have it um, so this was the iron mesh and let's just claim that gave us some sand awesome and then what does this gave us a honey bottle wonderful um, so this is gonna let us get redstone and glowstone uh, which is pretty cool um, and then we're gonna go back up here moving liquids this is what we're working on right now uh, this gave us some glass which means we can make some glass bottles put the extra glass in there put those honey bottles in there I'm realizing if we got this uh, like a little earlier we could have just drank the honey and use those glass bottles um, but we can use these bottles to fill up this barrel and three fills up the barrel completely and then toss some dust in there and that gives us uh, one clay uh, and I'll do it again just uh, to have a little extra um, and that's throw it dust in and you get clay uh, and then we can craft these clay into clay balls and uh, we can make a ceramic bucket or two um, sorry unfired clay bucket same thing um, and then we're gonna grab a piece of coal and toss that in there to uh, fire it um, and then this sand can go there this clay can go in there we'll hold on to that those bottles can go in there uh, and that gives us a ceramic bucket um, and that gives us XP and some more clay and it also that's cool unlocks this quit punching the ground uh, this is a quest for a cobble generator so let's look that up what what does that need nope that's not what that is cobble nope what cobble gen okay uh, and that is just some logs, some glass, a lava bucket, and a water bucket. Okay. So it's good we made two of these. I need to make a pickaxe, don't I? Let's make that real quick. And that was going to let us get a little bit uh, closer to the um, lava down here. I can just barely reach it there. Nice. And let's put that back so we don't fall in. And um, I think we're going to need to toss some more saplings in there. And we're going to have to wait for that to um, go. All right. So we just got uh, a bucket there. So we can make the uh, cobble gen. What else do we need for it? We need some logs. I should have been prepared for that. Um, but we just need, uh, so, oh, this is a, this is a big tree. Okay. Uh, some logs and some glass, which glass we have left over. Thank you. Thanks to the, uh, glass bottles we made. Um, so we can grab those real quick, um, the glass, and then we should be able to make a cobble gen tier one. What do we need for a tier two? Just some cobble, another ceramic bucket. Ooh. Okay, 
we might be able to upgrade this pretty soon then. Um, but we can put that there. And let's see. How can we... Okay, let's see. Does this have, like, ports anywhere? Can we extract... Like, does it automatically output to the bottom to the side like maybe the top Ooh, yeah okay so it auto automatically outputs to the top that's pretty cool i might turn this into a storage drawer yeah i think i'm gonna do that turn this into a storage drawer um and then that way we can uh kind of take stuff out of it a little bit easier uh, I'm actually gonna oh man there we go uh, I'm actually gonna save this over there because it's handy uh, and I feel like I will probably be making them a lot more there we go okay um, do I have extra cobble sitting around somewhere no okay cool um, I also had to make a bed uh, because there were some phantoms coming after me. Um, and then I also made a second, uh, iron mesh. Um, but I think, uh, I think with all of that and, uh, this, this cobble gen, I think this is going to be super handy. Uh, and I think this is a great place to leave it off for this episode. So, um, let me know in the comments, uh, if you guys know how to repair tools, because uh, that would be pretty handy <laughs> so I can stop throwing away stuff. Um, but yeah, let me know if you like it. Uh, let me know if I'm missing anything. Um, and just uh, leave a comment, subscribe, and have a great day. See ya. Bye-bye.